I'm Will, and this, you should know because you clicked on it, is the lineup from Taunter.com. And to pay our respects to one of this generation's most accomplished leadoff men, we'll lead off with Derek Jeter. Jeez, guys, I know he leads the league in ground ball to fly ball ratio, but a little respect. At least act like he can still hit it out of the infield. As for the lucky fan who caught the ball, Christian Lopez, he owes over $100,000 in student loans, but he gave the ball back to Jeter instead of selling it. Huh, pretty stupid if you ask me. Probably could have made some sort of indecent proposal type deal with Jeter. Or at least smelled his fingers. The Florida Marlins are closing the upper deck of their stadium for the rest of the season due to lack of fan interest. It'll reopen, however, for Bark at the Park Night, a popular promotion where fans can bring their dog to a Marlins game and show them that even some humans suck ass in public. In our final baseball-related matter, the MLB All-Star Game. The National League won 5-1, securing home field advantage in the World Series. Tyler Clippard got the win, Prince Fielder won MVP honors, and this guy didn't give a shit, but watched anyway because Hellcats was a rerun. I need my new Hellcats. Kurt Rambis fired from his head coaching position with the Timberwolves after GM David Kahn grew tired of not receiving all the credit for the team being so shitty these past couple of years. Le Tour de France. Let us see what is happening there. Die Situation, boah, boah, Sky, Sky wieder. Oh Gott, Junge, was ist denn der? Der wollte den Baum ausweichen. If anyone bitches at you for wasting a beautiful day inside, show them that video. Yeah, maybe you didn't take a scenic bike ride this summer, but you also didn't get hit by a car and forcibly raped by a barbed wire fence. So, I say you came out ahead. Michael Irvin appears in the latest issue of Out Magazine. While he says he fully supports gay rights now, he admits he used to be ashamed that his older brother was gay. Hmm. Well, Mike, sure Big Bro wasn't always too proud of you, either. Heinz Ward arrested in Georgia over the weekend for DUI. Now, obviously, the Steelers couldn't issue a statement because of the lockout, but if they could, it would probably be this. Hey, guys, stay the f*** out of Georgia. They're very strict there. Reagan Kennedy, the six-year-old Illinois girl, shot an 85-yard hole-in-one. With a name that has both Reagan and Kennedy in it, we had multiple options for jokes here. Meaning it's time for another Choose Your Own Joke, President Assassination Edition. I really like to do that voice, it's all fun for me. So, do you want A, 85 yards, impressive. Last Reagan was only 10 feet away when it got a hole-in-one. Or B, of course she's known for an impressive shot. She's a Kennedy. I like B. So, tweet your choice to at Taunter or tweet us comments about this show or Taunter.com in general. Just like our pal at Bosco ATX who tweeted to his eight followers, stupidity at Taunter loves attention. Ignore them and let them wallow in their own filthy. But remember, if you do tweet us, please be intelligent. No dangling modifiers. You see, filthy is an adjective. It needs an object to modify. Who's stupid now at Bosco ATX? I'm Will. Thanks for watching the lineup. See you next week. Hooked on Phonics. Work for us. Peace out.